Hi everyone, welcome to London South East College's Online Open Day, um, powered by Online Open Days here at SpringPod. So in this afternoon session, we will be giving you a little bit of an insight into training in a career within the hair, beauty and media makeup industry. I'm Millie and I'll be uh, hosting today's session. Just a few pointers before we start. So the talk will take about 45 minutes and please do feel free to ask any questions that you have um, for our wonderful guest speakers because I know they are always happy to answer each and every single one. Um, leading today's session, we are incredibly lucky to have the Deputy Heads of Faculty for Hair and Beauty, the lovely Susie Bowell and Lisa Michello. Um, we're really lucky to have you here and to, to be sharing your extensive and special knowledge with us. Welcome Lisa and Susie. Thank you. Hi. 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 I do believe we have a few videos to go through before we hand over to Lisa and um, Susie. And once the videos are finished, they will explain everything to do with hair and beauty. So it's one-to-one -one hands on training. This particular college. This particular my name is Tahisha Baker. Uh, I'm doing level three hairdressing. As you can see, we're in a summer environment. So it's one-to-one -one hands on training. This particular college, we're kind of family base we all help each other our tutors are there she's just like one of us she gives the support we need i love the practical side of things i like the fact that we're in real time I mean we're working on clients day to day every day is a challenge you never know what you're going to face and i love our teamwork watching what my lecturer does on a day-to-day -day basis has actually shown me what else goes into teaching so my career ambition is to actually go into teaching Hello everyone, I'm Tracy Davis and I'm the Vice Principal for Further and Higher Education at London South East Colleges. I'd like to personally welcome you to this virtual open event and thank you for joining us to find out more about the courses that we have on offer. We're delighted that you're considering London South East Colleges for your education and training needs. I'd like to start with a brief introduction to the College and then I'll hand over to our curriculum experts who will tell you all about the courses we offer within this curriculum area. At London South East Colleges, we pride ourselves on being one unique college with sites across eight different campuses within the London boroughs of Bromley, Bexley and Greenwich. We have over a thousand different courses on offer, including vocational study programmes, traineeships and apprenticeships, adult and professional qualifications and we have a range of higher education courses available within our university centre. With over 13,000 students at college we have an extensive range of vocational courses through to degree level and professional qualifications. We have something to suit you no matter what your age, interest or ambition. We also work with over 100 strategic employer partners to ensure our courses are relevant to today's job market. Having the right industry skills for employment has never been so important. The largest of London South East College's campuses is Bromley, which is located just 10 minutes by bus from Bromley Town Centre. Our main Greenwich campus is set on the border of Plumstead and Woolwich. We also have a construction skills campus in Kidbrook, as well as an adult and community learning centre at Greenwich Park. We have two sites within Bexley, our Bexley campus and a specialist construction skills campus at Holly Hill. Located in the heart of the town, Orpington campus is home to our award-winning student-led BR6 restaurant and bake house. Our aim is to ensure that you achieve your career goals and fulfil your potential. We'll help you achieve this with our expert teaching staff, industry standard facilities and excellent employer links. Recognised for delivering high quality teaching and learning and with success rates above the national average, we achieved an Ofsted rating of good with outstanding features in 2019. In the spring of 2017, we were given a QAA rating of confidence for our higher education provision. We have also been awarded the TEF Silver Mark of Excellence for high quality teaching and learning. 
Studying at London South East Colleges will give you far more than just a qualification. We'll provide you with the crucial skills required by employers and universities to give you that all important competitive edge and make sure that you are the one that stands out from the crowd. Your career really does start here. So that's it from me. I hope that gives you a flavour of what your learning experience may be if you choose to study with us at London South East Colleges. It's now time to hear from our curriculum experts. Thank you. The skills I've learned is definitely camera work, Adobe Premiere, Photoshop. The students come to us once a week and we prepare the food for the canteen, getting the students used to working in a real life kitchen. I was lucky enough to get onto the multi-trades um, construction. I had all the help I needed in terms of getting my CV up to the level it needed to be. Working in the garage, get to know how it works inside the car. Like. The tutors give one-to-one -one tutoring so that you can know what you need to improve on. We learn like different varieties of styles. Now, we're working on a musical. The whole company comes together and we all show what we've learned. We place huge emphasis on ensuring that our students are career ready. We look forward to welcoming you to become part of our success story. Over to you. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, during this presentation, we will be um, introducing you to the range of um, hairdressing, uh, beauty therapy and media makeup courses that we can offer you here at London South East Colleges. The majority of our courses uh, fall into a study programme, which incorporate a whole suite of different qualifications, um, including not only the vocational qualifications, so your hairdressing, beauty therapy or hair and media makeup course, but also other supporting qualifications such as work experience, English and maths, careers advantage and our realistic working environment that can really enhance your employability prospects and skills when you go out into industry. Um, the qualifications that we offer in uh, hairdressing, beauty therapy and hair and media makeup are from level one to level three. Um, and the majority of these, as I said, fall into that study programme, that suite of qualifications. Um, but we also offer uh, qualifications for our adult learners in the form of part time evening classes as well. So I'll be talking to you about all of these. We do run hair and beauty courses and hair and media makeup courses across uh, different campus locations at London South East Colleges um, and they are held at either our Bromley campus or our Greenwich campus. And what I will do as we go through the, other, uh, the following slides is just introduce you to what you can study at different, low camp at different campus locations. So what I'm going to do is start off with our level one. Our level one hair and beauty courses are held at both Bromley and Greenwich campuses. Um, now level one in hair and beauty therapy also incorporates makeup, is a great starting point for your career in the hair and beauty industry. During your level one course, you will learn a range of different subjects from the hairdressing, beauty therapy and makeup curriculum that will really give you a, a really good understanding of the industry and give you insight into which perhaps uh, industry, whether it be hair, beauty or makeup, you would like to specialise in when you progress onto your level two. Um, so as I said, the level one hair and beauty course is held at Bromley and Greenwich and will be that stepping stone for you into specialist subjects at level two. So at level two, you can go on and specialise um, in beauty therapy or hairdressing or media makeup and you could decide which route that you would like to follow. Um, so say for example you would like to be a beauty therapist so you see yourself working in a um, salon, a spa environment, perhaps working on the cruise ships. Um, we would recommend a level two course in beauty therapy. Um, now with our level 
2 course in beauty therapy. Um, you can study that at both Bromley and Greenwich. Um, level two diploma in beauty therapy is on our or held at our Bromley campus. It is a study program, so it forms that whole suite of different qualifications that we, you will learn as a daytime program. On level two beauty therapy, you would learn subjects such as facials, manicures, pedicures, uh, waxing, eye treatments, makeup, subjects that would actually qualify you to work as a junior beauty therapist out in industry. What we'd hope you'd do is stay on and, and study at our level three um, diploma as well. Um, I'll go on to talk about that in a moment. So you can either study level two diploma in beauty therapy as a daytime course, or um, for the option for our adult learners, you could study the level two certificate in beauty therapy. This is a part time evening program that's held over two evenings a week. And it is a certificate in beauty therapy where you would learn facials, you would learn manicures and pedicures, which would qualify you to carry out those treatments out in industry. Now, you can actually go straight in at level two. Um, so you could, depending on your GCSE results, start straight at level two. Um, but you would need GCSEs, four GCSEs, um, including maths and English, grades three and above. So if um, you do come to enrol uh, on a beauty therapy course and you do have those four GCSEs, including maths and English, grades three and above, we could enrol you straight on a level two beauty therapy programme. If you didn't quite get those GCSEs, we'd start you on that level one, level one stepping stone. For our adult learners in our part time evening course, we obviously look at other qualifications, prior experience, prior qualifications that you might have uh, gained. Um, we also have the option of um, asking you to complete a um, maths and English assessment just to make sure that, that that level of qualification is going to be right for you. The part time evening course is at Bromley only. So you can study level two diploma in beauty therapy at both Greenwich and Bromley. But our part time evening course is just at Bromley um, for the moment. So after level two, we would like you to stay with us to become a fully qualified beauty therapist and go on to do your level three diploma. At level three, you would study advanced facial and body treatments such as body massage, um, Indian head hot stone treatments. You'd also learn um, facial electricals, body electricals, um, subjects and treatments that would allow you to be fully qualified out in industry. At level three, um, it is on our Bromley site. So you could study your level three in beauty therapy on our Bromley site um, at the moment. At Greenwich, what Greenwich also specialises in, I'll just for it there, lovely. So at Greenwich, you could actually specialise in hair and media makeup courses. So say, for example, you see yourself being a makeup artist out in the industry. Um, you could study a level two diploma in hair and media makeup, um, which covers subjects such as photographic makeup, um, face painting, body art, styling and colouring techniques um, that will qualify you to work as a junior makeup artist out in industry. Um, and we'd hope again that you'd stay on and get your level three diploma with us, which advances all those skills, allows you to be a fully qualified makeup artist, perhaps working in the fashion, photographic, media or film industry. And you would learn subjects such as airbrush makeup, fashion photography, uh, camouflage makeup, hair extensions, eyelash extensions. So a whole range of different hair and media makeup subjects. So it might be that you start at level one and decide to go on to our level two in beauty therapy and then level three in beauty therapy. Or you might start at level one and want to go on to be a makeup artist. So then study level two in hair and media makeup or level three in hair and media makeup. Um, or it may be depending on those qualifications that you get at GCC that you can go straight into that level two program. What we also offer is a range of different hairdressing courses, which Lisa is going to talk to you about now. Hi. Um, at Greenwich Campus, we offer level two diploma in men's and women's hairdressing. The men's hairdressing is just two haircuts for the men to, of, of a unit within the hairdressing for the women. 
Um, and we also do a level three diploma in hairdressing, which is more advanced cutting, styling, um, more, more of the fashion techniques. So your waterfall colours, your crazy colours. You will also learn within level three um, colour corrections. You know, how to strip colours out, how to um, neutralise and restore depth and tone. And we do advanced cutting. So that's with your razor in, your point cutting, um, your disconnected cuts, your asymmetrics. And it, it's a really, really great course to do. Um, and, it, and it's a lot of fun. But you do have to... Let me go back. Sorry, I've gone too far. You do have to have a level two qualification to be able to go on to level three. But we run both level two and level three at Greenwich and Bromley. And at Bromley, we are doing evening classes for level two hairdressing and level three hairdressing, where it's a certificate. So it's just a slightly smaller qualification. Um, but it's really good for people wanting to get back into the industry. Uh, we've, we do fashion shows at our colleges where um, every year we, we host a fashion show where they do creative styling. We get the beauticians involved to come and do the makeup and it fulfills your qualification. And, and, and it's such uh, an interesting job to go into for both the beauty and the hair industry. Um, I've always enjoyed hairdressing. I don't feel it's a job because it's so creative. Should we go on to the next slide, Susan? Okay. Okay. Thank you, Lisa. Okay. Um, so with our qualifications, um, as we've mentioned, we do level one, level two, level three. There are study program options during the day. There are um, evening options for our adult learners, um, both in hairdressing and beauty therapy. Um, with all our hairdressing, beauty therapy or hair and media makeup qualifications, they are what we call portfolio based qualifications. They are assessment based. There's not one final big exam in either the practical side of things or the theory side of things that you will have to complete. They're all going assessments. So we do find our learners really work at their own pace, especially when you start working on clients. Mm -hmm. uh, you can really progress um, at, at the rate at which you feel comfortable, comfortable and confident um, doing um, but both or all of our qualifications have two sides to it um, there are going to be theory assessments so there is some real key um, knowledge that you will have to understand to be able to perform your treatments you really will have to study the underpinning knowledge of all the treatments and services that you offer so in terms of your theory assessments at level one um, they tend to be task based assignments. So it is assignment work, it's project work, it might be case studies, it might even be evidence that we find from observations that you do. Um, it's much more at level one, a holistic method of assessment. So we generate that um, understanding and that um, evidence of your knowledge um, through the work that you carry out in salon. At level two and level three, um, qualifications there will be a series of online tests that you will complete to be able to cover the theory element now these online tests are per subject as I said there's not one final exam you do, will do them per um, service or treatment that you learn um, and also alongside these online tests you will be required to do assignment work to really help support your learning in terms of the practical assessment, um, when you start learning your treatments, you will obviously be trained by your, by your lecturers and you will practice on each other. Uh, you will then quite quickly go into practice assessments and then for each topic or each subject or each treatment or service that you learn, you will have a final practical assessment that you will have to complete. Um, now, this practical assessment at level two and three is completed on an external client. So quite quickly in your qualification, you will be working on clients that book in to our um, hair and beauty department for different treatments. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that um, in the next few slides. 
At level one, um, you will complete the majority of your assessments on your peers, so people in your class. Um, but we also will up get you working with preparation for your level two qualifications on clients, friends and family, just to give you that experience of client communication and being able to work on people that um, book in independently. Um, so this is a picture of our hair and beauty salons at Bromley. Um, they are a very professional environment to work in. As I said, we do um, take bookings from external clients and you will be expected to complete your treatments and services on external clients. Um, therefore, we have the same levels of ex or same expectations of professional behavior and appearance that they do in the hair and beauty industry. And right from the moment that you start, we will be expecting you to follow um, industry standards of practice. Um, so Lisa's just gonna talk you through a couple of the extra elements you have to consider for your qualification for, in order for us to be able to do that. Okay, so we have um, a few extra costs to the course. Uh, one is a uniform. Um, it's a nice navy tunic and navy trousers. Um, it's, it's very, very smart, it's very comfortable and it's very lightweight. Also, you have to um, purchase a kit. Um, we don't, we're, we're just weighing up the cost of the kits at the moment and that will be sent out shortly. And we also ask for um, a hundred pound materials fees because when you first come in, you will be using materials um, from our stock on your blocks for like your colouring, your perming, um, your your products that you use on styling. And it also um, goes towards all your printing uh, for your assignments. So that needs to be paid on the day of enrolment. Um, and your equipment comes within a nice bag and, and the kits are really beautiful and the, and the tools are really, high quality um, and, and what's and, really important isn't it that, it that the learners that you are able to practice at home yes yeah you get you get your heads for, for hairdressing you get your heads and you get a stand um so that you can practice at home um so you can practice as much as you want to be able to gain the qualities to then go forward to do your practical assessments um, so, uh, as Lisa said, you know, the uniform, the kit and the materials is something that all our students will have. Um, and working in our college salons, you will be required at all times to wear those uniforms um, mm. and, and look professional. That's the next one. Is that right? OK, so personal presentation is really important because we are in the fashion industry um, and we are in the beauty industry. So we, we need to to present ourselves really well. So we do we do have some regulations within the hair and beauty department. Um, you have to have your hair up and off your face. You need to attend with full uniform with no extra, extra bits, so you can't bring it up. Um, full closed in black shoes, no trainers. Um, nice black pumps that you can get from Primark. They, they don't have to be very expensive or you can have brogues or loafers. No nail extensions or gels. That is more towards the beauty. We do allow nails in hair, but they have to be a certain length. They cannot be the big long coffin nails. Um, no, no rings because of obviously catching clients. Um, no facial piercings you will be asked to take them out no jewelry and absolutely no mobile phones in the learning area because to, to me when you come to college you're, you're there to learn and i do feel that sometimes phones are a distraction um because i i know everyone's like always checking their phones to see what's at them or TikTok them but but when you're in a learning environment you want to learn as much as possible so we we take the distractions away you know, and we're we're all adults, so we we've got lockers as well, so that you can lock everything away. You have to, um, we just need you to get a padlock and a key, so everything is safe and secure. And you do need to become presentable. Anyone that doesn't have a full uniform entering the salon would not be able to do any assessments. So let's go to the next one. 
So work experience and employer engagement. You will be um, required to do work experience depending on, on the level of qualification that you do. For level two, it's 36 hours. That is over the course of your qualification. And for level three, it's 72 hours. You do need to try and source your work experience yourself. Or if not, we have a really, really good work experience team that will be able to help you in finding placements. But I think it's quite nice to to maybe look around when, when everything is opening and, you know, because there's going to be plenty of hair and beauty that is going to be needed in soon. Um, and, and they will need people to come in for work experience. We have um, a really, really good employer engagement. Uh, we have very close links with uh, Daniel Galvin of Jewel Street in London, where he has several salons and he's very happy to take on work experience people. Um, and that can lead to a full time permanent job once you've finished your level three hair qualification. Um, we've also just got really good links with um, Jamie Stevens. Um, who has, he's been British hairdresser of the year twice. We have his assistant, Harry Casey, who has been um, doing some social media for us. And he's going to come into the salons and do some demonstrations for us as an enrichment. And they have also offered work experience as well. Um, We've also got ties with Rowhill Grange and Bannertime Salon Spa. Is it Spa, Susie? Yeah, we've had we've had some uh, we've had um, students in local spas and local salons. Um, obviously, many of the beauty salons uh, around the area as well. They've been really successful. Yeah. So, so they're very very high profile that we've got these these links with. So that's an added bonus, I think, for our college. Um, we've also, we are the only college that has got a real working environment salon downstairs behind our reception area in Bromley. It's called The Graduate. So what happens is our level threes that will be coming on board, they will actually two or three times a week be able to go downstairs and work an appointment system with the level twos and the level ones assisting them to, to get you ready so that you are you know, really experienced to go out into that world um, for, for a job. I've had um, two, two students that have been took on in London that have gained experience from this. One of them is now a personal assistant of um, James Galvin um, and she's, she's absolutely loving it. But I've got another student that comes back and teaches bridal hair now. Um, all our students keep coming back wanting to teach because they, they really love the experience uh, of coming into college. And, you know, I'm, I'm extremely proud at the quality of work that, that we do do as a college. Um, I, I do think it's, it's, it's such a, a trendy college to come and gain experience and your qualification from. We also do realistic working environment. So this is where you come in and it's um, part of your... Uh, qualification you will be timetabled into um, coming in for an afternoon or a morning um, Debbie our facilitator organizes that rota and you will be working on the reception area doing the laundry uh, working the dispensary doing a stock take um, our reception area we use eye salon and that is another qualification you know to actually learn how to book in clients on a um, eye salon app is is amazing um so that's another quality for when you go out into the real real world of um, working because you can say yes i've gained eye salon experience so you could do the reception um laundry and dispensary and stock take it, it it's so important i've i've done it that's how i learned my trade from the very beginning doing stock taking and, and, and laundry and it I think salon owners really love the students that come in because they know what they're doing. You know, they come in and they go, oh, you know how to do this, you know how to do reception, you know how to answer the phone. So, you know, we are a very high-end college for our hair and beauty sector, and that goes for Bromley and Greenwich. 
Um, so as Lisa's just um, been talking about um, all of those aspects of the study programme that will be in addition to your um, vocational qualification, all of those other aspects that really will help support you when you go out into industry. Uh, we've spoken about the um, work experience that you need. We've spoken about the realistic working environment and the opportunities we have down in the downstairs hair salon um, that you're, you're able to access. Um, other parts of your study program that we want to talk about is the English and maths. Um, now for uh, learners um, that didn't achieve a grade four and above in English and maths, English and maths will be part of your timetabled study um, at uh, your uh, hair, beauty or um, media makeup courses. Um, the uh, idea is that English and maths is going to be vitally important um, when you go out into industry. Employers look for um, those English and maths skills when you're working. Um, English and maths skills really support your work in salon, such as your communication skills, uh, processing payments, working out your commission, whatever it might be, they are fundamental to being really good at what you do. Um, so if you are under 19 and you do come to us uh, with no GCSEs or uh, grades two or lower, then mm. you'll be studying English and maths um, as part of a functional skills programme. If you did gain a grade three in your GCSEs, then you will be studying a GCSE uh, qualification with that view to getting to that level four, that grade C level. If, for example, you did get your grades four and higher in your GCSEs or grades C and higher in your GCSEs, you will have, you won't have your English and Maths lessons, but what you will have on your timetable is um, an independent study period where you can work on um, practicing your treatments. It might be assignment work, it might be task work that you can actually complete. But English and Maths is part of your study programme and it is or will be part of your timetable programme of classes um, when you're studying with us. Careers Advantage. So as well as doing your qualification, we are a college that you can get another added on qualification and it's Careers Advantage. So as I was saying, we host the show. So um, it has different elements that you just have to present into it. So it's, a way of um, employers look at careers advantage as, as an added extra and it, it is really good. We do bronze, silver and gold. We help you learn about your digital skills, your social skills, your employ employability skills, your entrepreneurial skills. So it we help you with your CV writing. We help you with um, writing cover letters. We help you with your digital skills, your researching. We use Moodle in our college. Um, and we do do um, like entrepreneur where we, we can set up to do small tasks. I think last year we done um, bath bombs. We made bath bombs from scratch. So it just gives you an idea of, of thinking outside the box of what you can actually do and gain for your qualification. Uh, we also, Lisa, have a lot of industry specialists to do workshops and yes, talk with us, we don't do. we? Uh, um, and there's a lot of extracurricular courses that you yes. can do to so, support your main vocational qualification. Yeah. So we do uh, enrichment days where uh, we have a day where someone will come in and do a whole day of keratin blow dries. So that's an added extra. We will be doing hair extensions. We will be doing advanced cutting courses, bridal styling. Um, hair straightening, the we've list got gel nails. I'm going to pitch you gel nails, this time. Gel nails. Yeah, yeah, gel nails. We've got yeah. tanning, eyelash um, extensions, lash extensions, all, all these extra qualifications that you can do to really um, enhance the suite of treatments that you offer and be able to put on your CV uh, yeah. and show employers of all those extra qualifications that you've gained. Um, and they're really fun to do as well, aren't they? Oh, yeah, we, we have great days. We, we spend the whole day and they come in. Um, hair extensions is, is a really good one. And it's, it, it, you know, it's a good qualification to have. You get an in-house certificate. You don't get an actual 
um, sort of like sitting guilds qualification, but it's an added extra. Every co en enrichment course that you do, you get an in-house certificate to say that you've attended. Um, 72 hair come in and do the smoothing, keratin and the physiology. Um, and we have one of our ex-students here by Chrissy who comes in and does the bridal. So that was amazing, wasn't it? It that was is amazing. Was and Harry Casey, the lovely Harry Casey is going to come in and um, do some advanced work with us mm -hmm. today. So that'd be really good. And also Harry has said that um, on a yearly basis, he's going to pick um, a winner to take on a celebrity shoot with him as an experience so yeah we've got really exciting got lots going on yeah yeah super okay that's the next one support and guidance so when you do your enrollment forms please fill them in really carefully um and if you have any additional learning needs it doesn't matter how small please add them on because we have a fantastic support and guidance group um we have uh readers for your exams if you need them uh we have support in the class if you struggle with your assignments if you've got an ehcp plan please let us be aware don't think oh i i can't put that down because we can always go through it with you it's always confidential and the, the support team in both colleges are second to none. Um, um, Elisa, that, sorry to interrupt. We've, we've actually got um, we've got a couple of ladies that work directly within our department as well. So yeah. you know, we, we, we have people that work within the hair and beauty um, courses. So they actually understand the hair and beauty yes. industry very well. Yeah. So but they're part of our team. Yeah. yeah. And Louisa, team. Funny enough, Louisa did do her hairdressing at Bromley many years ago. Yeah, <laughs> she's come back. Um, as support and guidance which is which is fantastic and also if, if you have any queries about um you know fees or anything then the student hub are remarkable sonia um downstairs in the hub in bromley no question is too small for her either so if you need any information contact the hub student hub uh we've also got a careers advice centre, haven't we? Yeah, and also if you've got any questions about the actual unit, what you're going to be studying, yeah. it's all on the website as well. So you can you can access the course and the level that you'll be studying. Have a look at the entry requirements. Mm. You can see the actual um, treatments or services you would be learning on that course as well. And the cost, the hub will be able to help. Yeah, with, as, as Lisa said, the cost of the uniform and the kit, It, with the cost of the uniform and the kit and materials, the kit is le level dependent. It depends on what you're studying, whether yeah. it's hair and beauty or um, hair and media makeup. It depends on what level you are to the cost of the kit. So that information will be um, released very shortly. It's just being finalised now. So everyone, come and get online, sign up. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, ladies, for an amazing, amazing chat. And I think, you know, we've all we've all learned a lot more about the opportunities that are available within the hair and beauty and media mm -hmm. makeup um, at London South East Colleges. Um, I know that we have had a few questions. I know that you mm -hmm. sort of touched upon some of the questions as well with inside the talk. But um, we have had a few questions from the guests who are joining our talk today. So mm -hmm. um, I'm just going to ask the first, which is so. I know you were talking about costs with regards to makeup um, and the hair and beauty. Whether, whether um, there's a question here that just says, how much does a hairdresser have to pay per year? Um, or you were saying- That would be the student hub uh, yes, that would be able hub. to tell them, yes. Uh, because there's a couple of elements here. There are tuition fees, um, depending on your age and depending on what you've previously studied and depending on, um, depending on your economic situation, uh, you may be eligible to pay tuition fees. Um, so that's the cost of actual studying. Um, but then obviously, in addition to that, we have the costs of the kits and the uniforms and the materials payment. But but yes, definitely, in terms of tuition fees, the Student Hub will let you know whether you, you, you will have to pay those tuition mm. fees. Fabulous, thank you. And we've got another question here because I know that there are a few guests who might be um, an older student um we've actually had a question here that says i am a hairdresser with a 15 year gap so I would say this, that yeah would this course be right for to refresh the skills for them 
Um, yes, what, 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 what they would have to do is um, firstly send in some information of, you know, did they get a qualification 15 years ago? If they didn't, then they would have to go on to a level two course and then they could go up to the level three. So it, we would need to know the information of, you know, did you go to college? Did you get a qualification or did you do like an apprenticeship? Um, but yeah, we we can get them on the, the right course. Uh, right? Uh, and the adult evening courses sound perfect yeah, for that, don't they, Lisa? Perfect. So at Bromley, we do the level two adult evening and evening. level three, and they have been very successful. And there is a lot of learners coming back um, to study hairdressing or beauty therapy, might have a change of career or after a family, you yeah. know, lots of people wanting to learn again. And, and they've, they've proved to be really good for yeah. and very oh, successful. Yeah, brilliant. So dedicated. Yeah. They're all coming um, on to my level three. <laughs> <laughs> amazing and actually i know you were just touching about the adult learning courses mm -hmm. one of the other questions is where can we get the more information with regards to adult learning courses especially for um i'm guessing are you starting at level one and then going all the way up again no we don't do level one in the evening we are okay. doing level two and level three hairdressing and level two beauty okay so uh, what, what, what it, for our adult learners uh, um that might not have gcse's they might you know be in the um been doing things prior and not have actually studied gccs mm. we will look at other things other qualifications previous work experience uh, the careers that they've been doing so it might mean that they do uh, uh, an english and maths assessment mm. it's not a test it's just an assessment just to make sure that the course is going to be right for them yeah. but there are lots of other ways that we can assess their entry criteria mm. other than these gccs gccs we tend to look at for our learners that are under 19. okay Thank you. And then um, we've also got a question here about um, ESOL. So there's an entry that I think two get two completely separate guests are talking about mm. doing ESOL at entry two. And uh, one that's actually doing it at Bromley College. Okay. And the question is, can they do the ESOL with this certificate? And would it be possible to start a beauty or a hair and makeup? Would it be possible to start those courses having done the ESOL? I think it's if they're studying ESOL with us at the moment, um, it's probably best that they um, contact the student hub to talk to the ESOL mm. team because I know the ESOL team actually run a hair and beauty provision as almost like a stepping stone into our level one courses. So if they're currently studying ESOL, it might be able they might be able to do like almost a vocational tester while they're studying their ESOL classes. Okay, um, they're probably best to talk to the student hub that will then direct it through to ESOL but we do have ESOL learners studying almost like a hair and beauty taster mm. session oh, okay. while they're learning. Mm. Amazing. I, I, I've just seen the, the late, um, I don't know who it is, with the 15 years gap. Yes. Yeah, yeah. she said that uh, he or her, um, she didn't, they didn't get a qualification, so okay. it would be level two hairdressing. Okay, yeah. okay, fabulous, thank you. And then, um, with regards to hairdressing, I think this is a question that a lot of people ask. Do you do all types of hair? So we do all types of hair, but we do not do um, Afro-Caribbean qualification. But we okay. can work on Afro hair. That is no problem at all. Okay. And that's for both sites, Bromley and Greenwich. But we don't do relaxing. That's right. something that we don't do. Okay. Thank you. And then also, I think this might have been um, either a question from uh, uh, one of our guests here. Is there, is there, the, well, I know you're touching about the men and the women course for hair, mm -hmm. but I've had a question about whether this is a barber's course or not. It's not a barbering qualification. It is a ladies and men's qualification. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that, that you you do learn how to cut men's hair, mm -hmm. but it's not a barbering qualification. No. Uh, and that's at Greenwich. Greenwich do the men's and women's. Yeah. When men's and women's hairdressing is it's at Greenwich. At Greenwich yes. <laughs> Fabulous. And I think, um, I actually do think that is every question that we've answered there. So um, thank you so <laughs> thank you so much. I know that um, obviously if you have got any more um, pending questions, you can always email. So yeah. um, 
you can contact us as we were talking the student hub team at studenthub at lsec.ac.uk so that's in case you have any other burning questions but we do hope that uh, this talk has inspired you to study with London South East College and don't forget of course if you are ready to apply you can do so online at www.lsec.ac.uk I just want to say a massive thank you to all of you for joining us and a humongous thank you to our guest speakers lovely Susie and Lisa because it's been incredibly interesting and a really insightful talk as well um thanks again for watching and we will see you next time but don't forget to tune in to some of the london south east colleges online open days which are actually taking across all uh, of this week so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time thank you thank you